We recorded this video at our annual ice fishing overnight with our discipleship group. Now, before we can do any filleting of fish, we've got to catch fish. So this year we chose Borden Lake, and we wanted to drive out there with the truck, and the snow and the ice conditions just weren't good enough to get us out there, so we ended up walking out onto the lake, and you can see where we started and uh, where we ultimately ended up fishing. And uh, what I'll say is the, 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 it took five guys uh, to catch these fish. And I think what we lacked in skills, we made up in enthusiasm. And what we lacked in quantity, we definitely made up in quality. So just take a look at these crappies that we caught. There's only three of them for five guys, but they were really, really nice. And uh, I'll just show you a little bit of scale here so you get an idea of how good these fish looked. Um, so that's about it. Uh, let's move on now and start filleting these things. Live here with Tim Losey. He's going to demonstrate how to clean and fillet a crappie. All right, this is the Kyle method. I'm sure everybody does it this way, but my wife taught me this. You start making a cut right behind that first fin, and you can feel you'll stop when you hit hit the bone. So we get it started now. We just follow the dorsal fin and cut down to the spine. The knife will stop right when you touch the spine. And then once we get past that, we can push all the way through, staying on top of that bone. There we go. <laughs> you want to slide down? To, to get me on Facebook. Okay, we're getting there. Now we just start peeling the skin away from the bones, working our way around the ribs. There's not a lot of meat around these ribs, so it's hard to get hard to get through there without including bones. Uh, maybe a bone in there. We'll get that and we clean the fillets. It looks more light. There we go. Okay, now we're going to start working our way down to the bottom. Come on. The first one went easier. There we go. There it is. So we'll come back around. And the last step, we're going to skin these. Some people scale them. They'll, uh, they'll take a spoon or a scaler and work backwards and pull these scales up. But I think, I think this Well, Mike, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Wow, that's amazing that you cut off half of the body and it's still alive. We're, you know, in these exotic names that I've got on them. Don't have them. But so that happens, you just, the computer somehow showed the shotgun and how they, how they connected me with, with gardening customers. And one of them says he's been a customer for about 15 years. Oh. And I'm just guessing. Okay. So you just, on a regular basis, you just clear, clear out. Two. And if you're really good, these are really good people. That uh, when they're done with that fish, they can lay it on top of a piece of newspaper and read what's underneath. Yeah. I 
is more comfortable than the bike. Yeah. Well, we thank you, Jim. That was a fine demonstration. Anytime. Continue on. <laughs> so here we are live with Mike and Todd, and we feel Tim did a great job with that. And uh, congratulations, Tim, and may you catch many more fish and clean them all, too. <laughs> great out. job. Great job, Tim. Hey, everybody.